Alright, welcome back guys, what's up? Uh, what's up DM? Uh, nothing crazy crazy, um... The first four boxes was the last break we just did. We did hit a nice Bellinger. We got the Bellinger action variation. That was pretty nice. And we hit a Rizzo. I mean, the Bellinger's probably a lot more than the Rizzo. Um, what else? Bellinger Refractor. So a couple nice Bellingers. Uh, we hit one auto, nothing crazy either. Who was it? Uh, Lucas Sims for the Braves. So yeah, nothing monstrous yet, but uh, that Bellinger was pretty sweet. And a couple of nice like black-bordered cards, like Rizzo and Bryant. Those sell pretty well when you got the right players on them. So hopefully uh, the monsters in this break. Still looking for my first Otani. This is the third case we're breaking into. Alright, uh, let's take out the boxes. Alright, so we got eight boxes to choose from. All right, we got the right side. Ah, uh, belly, belly. Ah, uh, you know the case could be loaded with other Bellingers, you know. So, just because we hit the Bellinger action, there could be a, you know, we've hit like three, four judge variations in the same case, so. Sometimes it's a good thing to hit a certain player in one break. Means it might have uh, more of his cards in it. Alright, left side and right side. And you never know what pops up out of these. Could be a Bellinger Auto in here. Or you could get like a crazy Kershaw card, who knows. All right, let's roll a dice. Odd, we'll do the left four. Even, we'll do the right four. All right, we got a five, so we can do the left side. And uh, the hot box is still live with all the purple uh, refractors in every pack. We didn't hit that in the first break. Oh, no, I know, Matt. <laughs> Alright, uh, here are your teams. This is uh, break number eight. Third break of the night. Um, Next Wednesday, Don Russ comes out. I'm excited about that. That's up in the uh, eBay store right now. I got three breaks for Wednesday night. All Don Russ, so we'll take a night off of Heritage and then, uh, and then we'll just rotate. Uh, you know, every night I'll break Heritage and Don Russ until I run out of uh, Heritage. So I got three breaks tomorrow of Heritage, two breaks Sunday, Monday I'm off, you know I do all the sorting and shipping on Monday, uh, Tuesday there's two breaks of Heritage, then Wednesday opening day Donruss, three breaks, and then after that I'll just do uh, Donruss and Heritage like every night, and on the weekend uh, maybe a couple breaks of each. Donruss is really fun, man. That's like one of the first sets that I broke last year when I started. It says three hits on average per box, but uh, most of the boxes have four hits. A uh, really good checklist. We hit George Brett autos and uh, Ozzy Smith autos. There were Bellinger autos. It's going to be fun. All right, good luck, guys. You know, even though Don Russ Panini doesn't have the uh, license to put the team logos on the card, uh, you know, it's still a fun set. Still cool looking cards. I'm sure at some point, even if it's five years from now, ten years from now, when Panini gets the license for uh, baseball also, can you imagine like National Treasures like with the logos being legit? Yep, Wednesday is Don Russ. And I have eight cases of Heritage. 
Um, I got 10 cases of Don Russ coming. So I'll be good for a couple of weeks straight with this stuff. Until the next part. And then uh, Contenders Optic Football comes out Wednesday. And then uh, Friday is um, Select Basketball. I got a couple, one or two cases of that coming. Select Football uh, was really hot this year. All right, Box Topper, original 1969 card, Gus Gill. Gus Gill, what team is that? Ooh, the Pilots, check that out. So that's going to go out to the Brewers. Uh, Tony with the Brewers, that's cool. We hit those really rare uh, Seattle Pilot autograph. We hit one of the autographs. Now here's the original card. That's really cool. Gus Gill. Yeah, Topps got the Monopoly, but you know what? Panini runs basketball and football. Topps doesn't even bother making any more products for football or basketball. But uh, baseball-wise, yeah, Topps is running that. But uh, Panini still puts out a lot of nice stuff. You know, Flawless, Immaculate, NT... All right, good luck, everybody. All right, let's make some room. All right, I'm feeling a big break now, man. Let's finish off the night strong. Yeah, you know why? Because uh, it's whatever, you know, it's got to be the same franchise, even though, like, Seattle Mariners has nothing to do with the Pilots. Seattle uh, just moved to Milwaukee and then changed the name. So that's like the Milwaukee Brewers franchise. You know, that's how all the breakers do it. That's how you uh, you just got to see what the current team is. Just like the Houston Oilers in football, it's not the Houston Texans. It's the Tennessee Titans. That's who bought it. All right, new age performers Mike Trout. And a lot of people are uh, going for the brewer spot just to get those Seattle Pilot uh, autos. It's like one in every 2,000 and something packs. Seattle Pilots. What is it, 50th Anniversary Pilots? Yeah, one in every 3,464 packs. And we hit one. uh, I don't know any of the players on the Pilots. But uh, they're selling really good because they're tough to get. All right, Yadi Molina Deckel, one in every 10 packs on these. Oh, really, Emerald City? Ooh. Yeah, these are cool cards, man. They stay true to the 1969 set. You know, like they got these things, the Topps News cards. They got like the puzzle pieces on the back of some cards. See right there, more top snooze. All right, Dan Straley, short print for the Marlins. Correa, that's a base. We're pretty good at spotting all the variations. Uh, I'm sure we'll spot them all. If we skip any, all card ship, so you'll get it. Just hopefully we spot them all. Been good so far. All right, let's see if there's a short print. Right, couple, yeah, a lot of top snooze. All right, no short prints there. Ah, you've gotten some bad condition redemptions from them. That sucks. All right, Chrome. All right, Tampa Bay Rays, Evan Longoria. Those are number 10, 999. Yep, 353 out of 999, Tampa Bay.
All right, then and now, Orioles, Indians, Palmer, and Kluber. Random those at the end with like a little dice roll. All right, Eduardo Rodriguez, short print for the Red Sox. All right, this pack feels fat. Probably a relic. Hoping to hit one of those coin cards at some point. All right, Cincinnati Reds, Billy Hamilton, Clubhouse Collection. Piece of his jersey. Uh, congrats, Matt. That's yours. Defensive specialist. He's fun to watch in the outfield. Seen him make some uh, really nice plays live at City Field. Ah, uh, really? And it's a judge card? Judge Stadium Club? Three corners on the back? I would send that right back to them, man. No need for a judge auto to be uh, dinged up. That stinks. Yeah, I would, like, definitely send that back. Stadium Club, uh, we got like one of the biggest hits you could get in Stadium Club, uh, we hit the one of one Chris Bryant, uh, Mike Trout co-signers auto, it's called the one of one, uh, rainbow gold, gold rainbow, it was a redemption, but, uh, crazy hit, it sold for like over $3,000, I actually sold it for the, you know, cause it was two different people who won it. So I sold it for them, and they split the profit. They got like $1,500 each. Uh, Reese Hoskins, Deckel. Yeah, that was the best way to do that. Because if you randomize like a three, four $4,000 card, whoever loses that is not going to be happy. Usually one person will pay the other one for it, buy them out, or they just split the profit. All right, Christian Arroyo, short print for the Rays. Yeah, you were there for that, Matt, right? That was a sick pull, man. And then when Topps Chrome came out, like a little while after that, we hit the Chris Bryant Super Fractor Auto. And then Ginter came out, uh, we hit a Dinosaur too. That was pretty sick. All right, we got something coming up. All right, Gary Sanchez action card. Action photo variation for the Yankees. The code is 01 on the back. Congrats to the Yankees, uh, Tony. Ah, very nice. Oh, wow, really? No redemptions? Probably better that way, better to have the live autos. Nobody wants to wait. Some sets are, like, really redemption heavy. All right, Joey Votto, New Age Performers insert. Right, Danny Salazar, short print for the Indians. Uh, Clint Frazier, rookie. And uh, Miguel Andujar, the Yankees.
Yeah, a lot of those old rookie cards had more than one player on it. Like, uh, I think Cal Ripken's rookie, Pete Rose's rookie card had like three, four players on it. All right, no short prints there. Yeah, and then sometimes they take forever to get them. September, October, November. Wow, like five, six months. Uh, Deaver's rookie card. Uh, then and now, Carlos Martinez, Juan Marshall, Giants Cardinals. All right, Shinsu Chu short print, Rangers. Aaron Judge base. All right, Richard Nixon. If anybody wants these uh, non team cards, let me know. If, uh, you know, if two people, three people want them, I'll split them up. There's usually only like four or five cards. If only one person wants them, I'll send them to you. So depending on how many people request them, I'll just uh, split them up. All right, I'll jot you down there, Emerald City. Oh, man. Emerald City, what was your eBay name again? The Concord card. If we... Okay, cool. You got it, Justin. What is that like the uh the airplane one? Somebody requested like the Boeing 747. All right, looking for Concord. All right, I got you with the Rockies. And if I have an extra Concord from another break, I'll hook you up. See Reeve, that's it, man. I knew it was familiar. Okay, the sound barrier one got you. See if I could hook you up. Break in. Sound barrier. All right, awesome. I'll do my best to get you one of those. If not in this, I'll see if I have any extra from the other breaks that I didn't ship out yet. All right, Scooter Gannett, short print. Kershaw and Belly, puzzle pieces. Uh, thank you, Justin. Yeah, man, you're every night almost. Really appreciate it. A lot of loyal guys like you. That's why I've been able to do this for almost a year, man. Thank you guys so much. All right, Leah, yeah, let's try to get you a Boeing 747. I just got one for somebody in the last break that wanted it. I guess they were like, uh, work for an airport or something, uh, really wanted that card. All right, I don't think any short prints. You got to check the codes on the back if you want to. 
least it's only in the middle of the pack, all the variations. You have to check every card. Yeah, I'll try to school you a little bit as I uh, find any of like, the tough vari- There's a lot of error cards, and if the picture's a little different, if the color on the team is like all white, that's a really good variation. They have the flip stock card where the texture on the front of the card is like the back and the back is like the front. So the back is all glossy. Right, Hank Aaron flashback. They used to have the bubblegum stain ones. They'd be like a little uh, like white stain on the back and it smelled like bubblegum. They did away with those though. All right, that's a short print. Martin Perez, Martin Perez, Rangers. Oh, yeah, that was one of the first breaks too, man. I actually just ordered Contenders uh, Draft for 2018. Yeah, we had a lot of nice autos out of that product. We hit the Deshaun Watson, uh, what was it, number to 10 or 15, something crazy. All right, no short prints there. If they would just write the numbers on the codes a little bigger, so tough to see, and I don't have the greatest eyesight. Alex Ray, a short print for the Cardinals. So the base set is from 1 to 400, and then... uh. From 401 to 500, those are the short prints. They're one in every three packs you get them, so they're tougher to put together like those 100 cards. You have a lot of set builders with Heritage. You try to get like the complete master set. We'll get all the inserts, all the short prints. We'll try to get all the actions. All right, that was box one. All right, box two. Let's get a hot box. Oh, nice. Schmidt's a good auto. Really nice. Yeah, basketball this year was uh, supposed to be the crate. Some products have been ridiculous for basketball. Like prison basketball, when that came out, like the profit margin on that break was uh, one of the highest ever. People going like $100 spots for like six, seven, eight teams on like a, you know, four box break or whatever it was. But then basketball cooled off with a lot of products. And football took off. There's been a couple of football products that... Like Select and Contenders and Limited. Just a really good rookie class. And when Contenders Draft came out, you know, it was a solid rookie class. But I think finished up a lot better than they thought. Alright, Manny Machado on the back. All right, Bradley Zimmer, Vasquez, and Freeland. So we're going to random the box topper Indians, Red Sox, Rockies at the end of the break. Ah, uh, so you don't like OKC? I used to love the Supersonics, man. Sean Kemp, Nate McMillan, Gary Payton. Detlef, we pulled a Detlef Shrimp photo uh, like a week or two ago. All right, box two, good luck. Oh, 
Oh, Schmidt Auto in a random. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely Mike Schmidt. I'm trying to think, man. I know we hit the Brett. In the Mike Schmidt Auto, huh? All right, Lou Brock, news flashback. Francisco Mejia, rookie for the Indians. All right, short print, uh, Disclafani for the Reds. Bellinger, that's a base though. All right, the UFO card, news flashback. And another basketball set just came out that was crazy. Was it Contenders? Yeah, I think Contenders basketball. That went really good too. But nothing was like Prism. That sold out like in a couple days. You couldn't get anything. Ahmed Rosario, rookie. Uh, Jonathan Villar, short print for the Brewers. Judge and Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, they were just happy to have a sports team that was in college. All right, David Free, short print for the Pirates. Yeah, once Durant left, I don't know, then they picked up George and Carmelo trying to put some kind of super team together. All right, next hit, Anthony Rizzo jersey piece for the Cubbies. It's got a nice uh, pinstripe down the middle. Add like an extra dollar. All right, Brian J.D., 1979, congrats. Clubhouse Collection Rizzo. Yeah, there's a ton of base. You know, you... Like, when I would buy boxes and boxes looking just for, like, certain variations. Like, in 2015, I bought a lot looking for the Bryants and Correas. But along the way, trying to hit those... You know, I got thousands and thousands of just the same old cards over and over again. But there is a lot of stuff to look for. All right, Bryce Harper Deckel. Uh, Cole Hamill, short print, Rangers. Yeah, like top series one, that had double the amount of base. So these breaks aren't too bad. Uh, tops in a, what did I do? Two box, three box jumbo break had 1,500 cards. And I did a lot of those, like 20 something of those. That killed me sorting. All right, Bregman's a base.
Giancarlo Base. Andrew Benintendi, New Age Performers. Yeah, no tops by the end of it. I was just begging for it to be over. And there was no other baseball, so I had to like take a second shipment of it. All right, nothing there. All right, Tom Seaver, Flashbacks, Miracle Mets. Yeah, and the Seahawks have been really good for Seattle. Seahawks, uh, I don't know, Mariners, you know, you got to go back to the Ken Griffey Jr. days. But that was a good time. All right, Austin Hayes, rookie. Uh, Giolito, I think, is a short print. No, it's not. My bad. Harrison Bader, rookie. But Seattle has great music history. Really good coffee. I love Seattle. Never been there, but I love that whole... I was really into the grunge era. Like the movie singles with uh, bands like Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. That's all Seattle right there. Uh, Mookie Betts, New Age Performers. Rizzo and Bryant. Right, Julio Urea, short print for the Dodgers. Yeah, Giolito was supposed to be a really big thing. Let's see, he's still got time. He's young. Maybe he'll turn those into gold one day. Ah, uh, Pearl Jam, PJ. Yeah, Pearl Jam's awesome. They're tough to see in concert, like around here in New York. They only come around every few years, and they don't deal with Ticketmaster. All right, Mets Dodgers, Seaver Kershaw, then and now. All right, Mike Leak, short print, Mariners. Ooh, we got a good one coming up. All right, Giancarlo Stanton, team color swap. That's nice. One in every 200 packs. The Yankees is in white. That's uh that's better than the action one. Action is one in every 35 packs, so this is like six times harder to get. All right, pretty nice right there. I'll throw that in a mag. That's got to be expensive. Now that Sentence a Yankee, his value went up. So
And anything in a Yankee uniform with him is going to be worth a lot of money right now. Ooh, nice Fenway. Yeah, City Field does some concerts. You know, they have those legendary Beatles went to, uh, actually, Shea Stadium. All right, very nice. Who's got the Yanks? Uh, Tony with the Yankees. Congrats, Tony. That's got to be triple digits right there. Come on, hopefully that's sparked the fire now. Let's just keep some big big hits coming. All right, our Nato uh, Deckel card. What is it called? Deckel cut or Deckel? Deckel edge, that's it. Deckel edge. <clears throat> All right, Josh Reddick, short print for the Astros. Oh, the Deckel? Yeah, I think we pulled two Arenados already out of this case. So there's 30 cards to that set. There's one in every 10 packs you get one. So about two and a half per box. Yeah, you probably get almost a full set out of like a case of that. And I'm telling you, some of the uh, the judge was going for like 30 bucks or something. A lot of the players are going 10, 20, 30 dollars on those. All right, John Lester Chrome, number 10, 9.99 for the Cubbies. 42 out of 9.99. Jackie Robinson's number on the serial. Oh, wow, Ween Outdoor Concert. That sounds like fun. Yeah, they opened up a Paramount on Long Island. It holds like, I don't know, 8,000 people or something. It's in a Huntington. Pretty nice venue. Small place, so. Uh, Matt Weeder, short print for the Nationals. Benintendi base. Korean Babe Ruth right there. Victor Robles, rookie. Yuli. All right, that's box two. All right, box number three. Tom McCraw, not Tug McGraw. All right, Chicago White Sox, Tom McCraw. Cool card for the White Sox. An original card from 69. They must have a ton of cards in that Topps factory. With all these buybacks that they've been throwing into the sets. 
And to think for like 50, 60 years they've been saving these things. Oh, for sure, man. You go to Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn is, I guess, like a train. I've taken a train to, uh, you know, by like the new Barclays Center. It's actually nice over there, Atlantic Avenue. It's about like 40 minutes from where I am in Long Island. I saw Black Sabbath at uh, Barclays Center. Really good show. One of their last. Ooh, we got something nice coming up. All right, Andrew Benintendi, check that out. Action variation for the Red Sox. Wow, in the first pack, that's awesome. Red Sox, uh, Devin, congrats, man. Love these action cards. So this case had the Bellinger, the Benny. See, these are selling good, but these are selling uh, even much higher because of the rarity. What is it? Six times harder to get the color swap. But the action are very popular. Oh, did you really? You were reading my mind. <laughs> Yeah, they're old and weird, but, uh, you know, it's still Sabbath. It sounded good. I'm sure in the 70s it was a much different type of concert. But it was fun, a lot of fun. Ozzy could still rock. And they had some weird band open up for him. Uh, something Wolf. All right, Ahmed Rosario, New Age Performers. Lone Wolf, maybe? Something Wolf was the opening bit. I'm sure they got different bands that open. But it psyched me up for like a month. I was just listening to all the old Sabbath stuff. Until I got sick of it again. Ah, uh, baseball flashbacks. Jim Palmer, Orioles... Yeah, there were no young kids when I went. It was all, uh, you know, I'm 30, what am I, 39? I forgot my age, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm 39 now. I think I went when I was, was it last year, two years ago, 37? All right, Ryu, short print for the Dodgers. Ooh, Steppenwolf. Oh, and I also saw a, a small show, Westbury Music Theater. Uh, Deep Purple played there. Kind of like Steppenwolf. All right, Lewis Brinson, short print for the Brewers. a base
Yeah, at 30, your energy level, you start to notice it. 35, you kind of really notice your energy level go down. Uh, but you know, I was married with kids at uh, like 23 years old. So I'm sure the kids uh, drain me out a little quicker. Depends on the lifestyle, how healthy you are. I'm sure there's people in their 40s that still feel like uh, they're 18, just eating healthy and exercising. So there's still hope if I could turn it around. Jose Altuve, Decalage. All right, good night, Justin. Thank you, man. Yeah, like the older people tell me, like, when you hit 50, you really feel it. But uh, they wish they were 30 again. But, uh, you know, definitely you see a, a difference at, like, 35. That's when I noticed. Steven Matt short print for the Mets. And now, like with breaking, all I do is I work seven days a week. It's a lot of work. Uh, not the breaking part. This part's fun. And, uh, you know, you got to post everything on eBay. You got to sort and ship all this stuff out. So doing this full time uh, and being really dedicated to it is like a seven day a week job. Every week, there's two, three days straight that I don't sleep. Usually after the weekend when I have a lot of breaks to sort. Max Scherzer, Decalage. Ah, uh, my daughter's fifteen. So yeah, almost driving age, yep. She'll be driving, uh, what, next year, I think. She's in 10th grade. Uh, Zach Britton, short print for the Orioles. Yep, and I got a 8-year-old son. And my daughter was helping, uh, she's a pretty good sorter. She's really smart, good memory. But, uh... I don't know, at her age, she just wants to be on her phone all day, and she just, I don't know, I kind of halfway fired her. <laughs> Killer Brew and Judge. She only wants to help when she needs money. That was it, because I paid her good. Ah, you got a 14. Oof, we got, like, the same life going on. <laughs> But I've been divorced for five years. Um, I have custody of both my kids, so they're all mine. And working from home is good because I get to just see them every day. James McCann, short print, Detroit Tigers. You know what, so I've been managing on my own, I've been working out, once I want to lay back from, uh, figured I'd bust my butt for like, I don't know, maybe another, I don't know, maybe this year I'll just ride it out, just kill myself, see if my daughter will help out a little more, and then maybe I'll put like a little team together. Uh, Reese Hoskins. Right, Zach Cozart, short print, Angels. Oh, congrats, man. You won. Very good. Let's 
to beat that system. Come on, give us another variation. Oh no, not kill my, I mean like work my butt off. Figured work hard, save money, and then, uh, you know, get a little help, hire a little team. All right, Vince Velasquez, short print for the Phillies. At least doing everything on my own, I know, uh, you know, I try, like, even when I'm shipping, uh, I try not even to get, like, one base card wrong. So I know uh, if there's any mistakes, it's like my fault. You know, every now and then there'll be like a stupid little mix-up, but nothing crazy. Alex Vertigo. So at least I know uh, that people are getting the right stuff and everything's getting done right. Uh, Gregory Polanco jersey piece for the Pirates. All right, uh, Brandon with the Pirates. There you go, Brandon. All right, there's the hit for the box. Yeah, I want to see, you know, hopefully the last box has an auto. Oh, yeah, no, I love being a dad, man. And I'm close with my kids. They drive me a little crazy. My daughter's uh, 15, and she's like drama queen central. So we have our moments. Cash on demand. Uh, the first ATM machines. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you just do what you got to do. You know, their mother lives in Virginia now, so. And I could tell, uh, you know, you could see the the mommy issues that the kids have a little bit. More my daughter, you know, she rebels from that, but. Uh, Brad Hand short print, Padres. Yeah, she's got this little chip on her shoulder, you know. But uh, I think on, like, Instagram and stuff, she'll talk to her a little bit. Now she's getting older, and when she does something good, she wants to brag to her or something. So I think they reach out a little bit. She barely talks to her. Mama made some bad decisions. Ooh, is that the one I've been looking for? Yep, this is it. John Carlos Stanton, short print. Oh, that is awesome. Hold on a second. Let's make sure it's the short print. Yeah, we don't need the magic now, man. This is a tough one to get here. Okay, look at this. See how Stanton's uh, in a righty batting stance? Uh, the lefty is a super short print, so when he's facing that way, so Yankees are crushing it now with the Stanton ones. I think this one's, like, really tough to get. That is awesome. Congrats to the Yankees. Yeah, Zoltar's our good luck charm. We'll take him out. We'll rub him on this box. Wow, that's sweet. Yep, it's got some weird code on the back, 98. This has to be a real super short print. That's like an error card. They're a lot tougher than the other ones. Wow, congrats to the Yankees, man. Oh, Tony, big one there. I'll get you a mag for that bad boy. That's sweet. I've been looking for that one. There's so many error cards, so they got you... Uh, Looking for like a hundred different possibilities. 
And that's one of the things I was looking out for. That's nice right there. I think this is probably selling for some good bucks right here. Oh, yeah, no, I have a good family, man. They're all there. My two sisters, my mom. So, you know, there's a lot of female figures in her life. Yeah, like the girly stuff. Like today, my sister took my daughter, uh, you know, to the female doctor. So that stuff she could do with her. And then I had a, a girlfriend that she was really close to. And I don't know, that didn't work out. We were like the Brady Bunch, just didn't work out. So when I finally get some time, I got to meet Mrs. Wright for them. Wow, that's an awesome one right there. Congrats. So Yankees crushing it now. No, not at all, man. All good. DeGrom, Gary Sanchez, New Age Performer. All right, Chrome D. Gordon for the Marlins, number to 999. Francisco Mejia, rookie, Syndergaard. All right, last pack of box street. All right, Salvador Perez, Decolage, Kansas City. Uh, you guys don't want D. Gordon. He's trouble. You know what? He got caught in that uh, perform uh, some kind of steroid or HGH or something. That kind of tainted his name. I think he was suspended for 50 or 100 games. All right, box four. Let's see if we get the hot pack, uh, the hot box. If we don't get the hot box, it'll be there tomorrow night. So break number nine will be it. But uh, let's hope we get it now. All right, advertising panel. All right, going out to the Brewers. Brett Phillips, Travis Shaw. D-backs have one card, but Brewers own more than 50%, so it goes to them. All right, Zoltar, do your magic, man. Let's finish off strong. Zoltar right in between. Come on, bring us a big hit. Only one hit per box, so really hard to get the big hit. They do pop up, though. Like that Seattle Pilots auto. Um, but so many variations we could hit. I want to, even better than like an auto, would be a throwback card. Let's see if anything short printed about these. Ooh, something going on with the Bellinger. It's got a different code on the back. Ooh, nice. Cody Bellinger error card. 
Nice. See, on the Rookie Cup, it says 1969 instead of 2017. So that is an error card. That's worth a lot of money right there. That's an error card. Wow. Congrats to the Dodgers. Uh, Matt, there you go, man. Not so rough now, man. This is a really good card right here. I'm going to get you a mag for that card. Yeah, never give up till the last card of the last pack, man. I've seen, like, crazy stuff happening. Seen in the last uh, pack somebody getting, like, a $200 card or a $300 card. That was, like, uh, killing me old breaks, saying, oh, my God, your breaks suck. You're pulling me nothing. <laughs> Hold on, let's get a mag. I think it's called the Bellinger Error. Alright, what are they selling for? Oh, that's the color swap. Wow, judges' prices are worth a lot more than uh, Bellinger, but this one's still one of the better ones to get here. Wow, I see people selling it for $120, $150, $200, $180, so it's over a $100 card. Very nice. Yeah, it's an error card. The Rookie Cup has the wrong year on it. They have a bunch of errors. Just like the Stanton, that's considered an error card also because he's standing lefty instead of righty. Um, I see ones that sold for like 50, but everybody's asking over 100 for them, so. I don't know, man. Judge on cards like that, like two, 300. I don't understand why Judge went way past Bellinger like that. But still, nice card, nice error card. So, I don't know. That's a cool card. I would just hold on to that. Wait for him to become MVP of the league or something. The nickname cards. Those are tougher to get than the eras. Those are selling like crazy. The Benintendi was going for like 200 Oh, wow, the Stanton that we just got. Wow, somebody has in a thousand, somebody has in a hundred. Yeah, the Stanton is selling for over a hundred dollars. Yeah, everyone sold for over a hundred. In auction, uh, 103.50, and then a few people got more than that. Like, buy it now for 120 or something. Then the Bellinger, they're asking over a hundred, uh, like four or five of them sold for like a little over fifty. But uh, still nice. So look at that Stanton selling like double what Bellinger is. I don't get that. I guess the Yankees are really uh, on another level. Couple of brewers. All right, Clayton Kershaw, New Age performers. Yeah, no, like the last year, we've been really lucky and hit so many monster cards, man. So if somebody's particular team isn't hitting, just some people just have that negative attitude. I had some guys like every break, they were just complaining, complaining, complaining. Then you got guys that like lose a thousand dollars a week, and they're just like, ah, I'll get them next time. So you gotta kind of try to stay positive. All right, Matt Shoemaker, Schumacher, short print.
Yeah, Bellinger definitely cooled off a little. I noticed that with the... I forgot what set it was, but uh, at one point, Bellinger and Judge were like so close in price. Bellinger was like 15 on a rookie card. Judge was like 20. And then uh, the ratio kind of, the gap spread a little further. All right, no short print. But Stanton, now that he's a Yankee, there's a big uh, a big premium on his cards now. Also, he hit like almost 60 homers last year. All right, there we go. Is that the one he wanted? There you go, man. Take that sound barrier. Yep, the Concord test flight. Uh, Justin, you asked for that one. That one I'll give to you. Awesome. I think Justin just went to bed too, but uh, he'll find out. Alright, R.A. Dickey short print for the Braves. Alright, Chris Sale, Deckel Edge, Red Sox. I don't think we got the hit out of this yet. Got a couple of nice variations. Hopefully we get a nice auto. Alright, Patrick Corbin, short print D-backs. Manny Machado, Decalage. Sonic Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm a big Mets fan. 86 was my year, man. That's probably why I'm so into the... Baseball and the hobby. I was collecting cards in 86, watching the Mets win the World Series. Just an amazing time. I was watching my Mets on like a little black and white TV with a hanger as the antenna. That's what I was watching it on when uh, the ball went through Buckner's... When the ball went uh, under Buckner's glove through his legs. Todd Frazier short print for the Yankees. Good time, man. Like, the 80s, when you watch, like, a 1987 or 86 baseball game, it was so cool back then, man. From the announcers to the, like, lack of HD graphics they had back then, it just really good vibe, man. All right, Lance Lynn, short print for the Cardinals. Uh, that I don't remember. Wade Boggs crying. I'm sure he did. I'm sure Buckner was crying, too. I was young, man. I was born at the end of 1978, so I was, uh, I was like seven or eight years old. Yes, yeah, seven going on eight. 
but I remember it like it was yesterday. Just a lot of the details because I was so young, I don't remember. Just like when you watch a movie when you're really young, you don't get like a lot of parts. Then you watch it when you're older and see how much of it you missed. Bellinger Base and Andrew McCutcheon Chrome to 999. Pirates. But for nostalgia, sometimes I'll watch like an old 80s baseball game on uh, on YouTube. Every team had a different vibe to them. You know, like the Reds or the Cardinals or the Cubbies. You know, whatever uh, your young brain like pic pictured them as. Uh, Astros, Twins, Rod Carew, Altuve. Judge and Sanchez. Ooh, we got something nice coming up. I think I peaked. It looked like Mariners colors. I'm not completely sure, though. Let's see. Good luck. Oh, my God. Look at that. Mariners have some of the nicest patches. 81 out of 99. Nelly Cruz. One, two, three, four color patch. Look at that. Beautiful card for the Mariners. See, any team could hit something nice like that. How nice. That is super thick. It's gold, number to 99. We hit another one of those. It was like a pirate uh, patch. I think it was last night. But you would think that these would be numbered a little lower because the patches are so nice. Congrats, man. That's sweet. Yeah, never give up till the end, man. That's how it works. That's just a pretty card. Especially if you're a Mariners fan. Something nice to put in your collection. And Mariners have the nicest colors. And you could get a four-color patch. Pulled a lot of nice Mariners uh, patches in the last year. Wow, what a beauty. Number 1099, Nelly Cruz. Here, I'll throw that in the mag for you. It'll look nice in there. Yep, yeah, the Mets were wild, man. <laughs> That's how New York was. Oh, let's see what size. We got to go bigger. Oh, nice. Yeah, get him to sign that, man. Get Milton. I'm sure he's really good with the fans. He's like the franchise over there. Perfect. All right, nice one. Nelly Cruz. All right, let's keep going, see what we get. So that's our hit, uh, but you never know in this kind of set what's going to pop up. It's been a hot box so far. All right, flashbacks, Brooks Robinson, Ben Intendi. Ah, uh, Tyler O'Neill. Yeah, I think I remember that patch. Oh, yes. Austin Hayes. Keiko. 
All right, Logan Morrison, short print for the Rays. Harrison Bader, rookie. Ahmed Rosario. Nothing there. Ryan, Brian and Rizzo. Right, there's the regular Stanton. Victor Robles, rookie. Uh, Wade Davis for the Cubs, short print. All right, down to one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Uh, Nolan Arenado for the Rockies, New Age Performers. Yeah, nice. Uh, definitely exchange information right there in the chat because uh, I've tried to hook people up uh, through like eBay Messenger and had my account suspended for like a week. Luckily, in an hour, like, I got them to remove the suspension, but you can't even, like, link two people up. Ooh, we got a rookie card coming. That's going to be nice. All right, Reese Hoskins short print rookie card. There you go, Phillies. Nice. See, this is... We pulled his rookie, right? All right, this is the base rookie card, the double rookie. And when they're by themselves, that is the short print. Very nice. Same code as like the action short print variation. So probably same odds. Uh, Magool, congrats, Magool. One of the hyped up rookies this year. This guy could hit a lot of bombs. No, 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 not at all. That's why I'm saying that you guys could always uh, do whatever you need to do in the chat. Because eBay Messenger, if somebody sends me an email or if I send an email, any kind of uh, contact info, they're going to suspend my account. That's why I try to... Because people will send me it and I get scared. I try to just let them know, oh, you can't do that. Just meet me in the chat. All right, nice Reese Hoskins. All right, down to three packs. All right, we got Woodstock. Look at that. How many, like two million people or something? Definitely over a million. I forgot the exact number. Can you imagine that, man? Wow. Our generation tried to redo that like uh, 20 years ago. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> nothing but riots and nothing like the dudes in the 60s.
All right, Marvin Gonzalez, Marwin Gonzalez, short print. Don't panic, Joe Panic. All right, last pack. And then we'll random off those uh, top loaders and stuff. Aaron Judge tops news. All right, that is it. All right, ended up being uh, some nice cards, man. Took, uh, what did I take? out three mags. So some really good variations. Nice hit. No autos, four relics, but one of them is a nice, sweet four-color patch. Yeah, Yankees uh, crushing it this break. Yankees. A few teams did pretty good. Uh, what was the other one I had? Ah, there it is. It was belly. All right, Dodgers, Red Sox, Phillies, Mariners, all doing pretty good, man. But Yankees with like three nice variations. All right, we got the then and now cards. Uh, we're going to roll a dice, see what side wins them. Five in the morning here. Thank you, Emerald City. Yeah, this is the time I get delirious. Like the last break, the last... Uh, by the recap, I'm shot after a night of breaking. Okay, then and now. Alright, we got the Twins and Yankees. That's a nice one with Judge on it and Killebrew. Twins and Astros, Giants and Cardinals, Orioles, Indians. So I'm going to roll a dice. Odd will be the left side, even the right side will win it. Here we go. And we got a two. All right, so it goes to the right side. All right, so Indians win the Kluber Palmer. Cardinals win the Martinez Marshall. Astros win the Altuve Carew and Judge Killebrew goes to the Yanks. All right, now we got the advertising panels. All right, so this one went to the Brewers because it's 66% uh, Brewers. So we got to random this off. Um, Heritage, uh, same deal as tonight. There's three breaks. Um, or last night already. Uh, 11.30, 1.30, and 3.30. Uh, Eastern time, 11.30, 1.30, 3.30. And then Sunday, I just have the 1.30 and 3.30 slot. Those are usually my main slots, 1.30 and 3.30 or 1 and 3. And then on the weekend, I try to throw an earlier break, like the 11. When I do early ones, like 8 or 9 o'clock Eastern time, I lose so much money. It's like nobody's, uh, nobody's bidding on the West Coast is still at work or... Still having dinner or something. That's why I do like the later breaks. I just had to adapt. I'm on a West Coast time schedule. Oh, what? The teams are all from 69? No, it could be modern teams on there too. On the box toppers. 
Right, there was no Rockies in 69. And uh, there was a nice Seattle pilot, so that would be going to the Brewers. 1969 buyback. All right, instead of doing the random.org thing, I'm just going to roll a dice, man. Same thing. Uh, if we roll a 1 or a 2, it'll go to the Indians. 3 or 4, we'll go to the Red Sox. And 5 or 6, it'll go to the Rockies. Here we go. And we got a one, so Indians win that one. Congrats, Indianos. All right, let's do a recap. Uh, Joy, JLK, congrats. You get a box topper. All right, it's going to be a fun recap. Cool stuff here. Oh, we took out four mags, man. That's awesome. Was it four? Yep, four mags. Wow. I mean, I mag a lot of cards that most breakers wouldn't just because, I don't know if I think they would look better in it, even if it's not like a, you know, triple digit card. I'll put $50 cards in mags. Some people are crazy. They charge extra if you want it in the mag or something. If anybody wants any card in the mag, just let me know. Mags are not that much money. And you guys pay enough on the breaks. Okay, uh, Chrome cards, number to 999. And by the way, this is the stack of short prints. These are all the cards numbered uh, 401 and up. So a lot of short prints. A lot of people, uh, these, you could lot these and sell them on eBay. People always trying to put the sets together. So they will uh, pay up for them if they need, like, the cards that you have. See, certain teams get a lot of them. But all the marquee players uh, aren't in this set. It's there in like the super short prints and the variations. Alright, one, two, three, four, chrome. Four chrome. Alright, number to 999. D. Gordon for the Marlins. John Lesser for the Cubs, Longoria for the Rays, and McCutcheon for the Pirates. Yep, so yeah, 100% the purple hot box will be in tonight's break. Yep, there's one in every case, unless they left it out for some reason, but it should be there. I mean, I've seen... A box that's supposed to have two hits only pull one hit, but uh, I think they're pretty on point with like the hot boxes, so it's got to be in the last four boxes, unless there's some kind of error at the factory, but I really doubt that. All right, uh, we didn't hit any chrome refractors, just the regular chromes. All right, action cards, action short prints or rookie short prints. All right, we got Gary Sanchez for the Yankees. These are one in every 35 packs, different photo. Instead of a portrait, it's them actually in a game. They have some pretty good value. Uh, Andrew Benintendi for the Red Sox, that's a nice one. Reese Hoskins, that's the solo rookie card for him for the Phillies. So that's a nice SP rookie card. One of the best rookie cards you could get right there. All 
All right, we got three. We got three jersey uh, relics in one patch. Here, I'll show you the regular jerseys. Polanco for the Pirates. Billy Hamilton for the Reds. Anthony Rizzo with the pinstripe for the Cubs. All right, now I got the four cards in mags. Check these out. All right, first up. All right, Cody Bellinger error card for the Dodgers. That's sweet. It says 1969 All-Star Rookie instead of 2017. That is the error. So this is a nice short print. Congrats to the Dodgers. That's a good one. All right. Uh, we got a sick four-color patch for the Mariners. Nelson Cruz gold border. Uh, number to 99. Four color Mariners patch, teal, silver, black, white, beautiful patch. Yeah, Benny looks weird on this card. He's got his hat his hat off and he's showing off that mullet. Yeah, when I used to participate in the breaks, have a couple of beers and watch the breaks, that was always a good time. Now that I'm breaking, I stay alcohol free. That way, I'm not uh mishandling your cards or slurring my speech when I talk. Alright, and our last two cards really nice here. They're both Giancarlo Stanton. We got this super sick color swap. Selling for like over $100. The all white Yankees. The regular cards have yellow writing. And also for the Yankees, Giancarlo Stanton, error card, he's batting lefty, check that out. You can see the difference on the cards there. Pretty cool. Wow, those cards look really nice next to each other. Right, and we hit a few of the base cards of him. Let's see what the regular base card looks like. Just uh, those little subtle differences, like change a card from a $2 card to a $200 card. That's crazy. Stanton's all over the set, man. You got him in Marlins uniforms, on the league leader cards, uh, all these variations they gave him. And he's very sought after in this set. All right, here's the base card. So the base looks like that. Batting righty, yellow writing. Then you got the batting lefty. And you got the batting righty, but the Yankees is in white. How cool is that? That's what this set is all about now. Congrats, Tony. Those are nice. All right. Uh, thank you all. Uh, time for bed, man. Down to three people watching. All right. I'll be back tomorrow night or tonight, actually. I got to go see Jumanji in a few hours with my son. Uh, I think like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think like ten hours I got to see Jumanji. Then rush out and get ready for the breaks. All right, see you guys later. Thank you, guys. Thanks to the chat. It was fun.